In this lesson, I want to show you how to restrict content. You know, with membership sites, you know, what separates them is that they're able to restrict content to sensitive data that only certain members have access to. Well, there are four ways that you can be able to do this here. And the first method is by utilizing uh, the core Joomla, you know, system here. So any person that's not part of a group won't be able to see anything. The second is you can restrict content for a partial article. So for example, you can show some content and then in order for them to read the rest, they would have to log in. The third is to be able to just restrict content to that entire page. So if they were to come to this where it says getting started here, it's going to say that you don't have access to this. You have to subscribe. And then the fourth method is to be able to restrict it per the URL. So every time that they go to a specific URL, it's going to bring up the login so that they can be able to log in or create a subscription plan in order to do that. We've already taken care of the first part, which is utilizing the core. Uh, there are some items that cannot be visible unless someone create an account. So what we want to do now is we want to create a restriction for partial content. So people are going to be able to see some of the content, but in order for them to see the rest, they would have to subscribe. This is very important because there are times when you want to create like a teaser for non-members. You want to create something that's enticing. Uh, and if they see that and if they really want that content, then they would have to subscribe in order to, to view the whole content. So you go to extensions, you go to plugin manager and you want to select for the content. This right here where it says the OS member content restriction. You want to make sure that that is enabled. So if it's not enabled, you just click on this, you know, checkbox here and it's going to give that green mark. So once you've done that, the next thing is you want to go to the particular content that you want to restrict. So this is to getting started here. And again, the goal for this is to be able to, you know, hide partial content here so that in order for them to access it, they would need to log in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to insert syntax and it's just something that's going to just um, block the content from wherever you want it to start and then wherever you want it to end. So where it says M um, P restriction, the ID here, this is the, the plan number. So you want to make sure that this is the plan ID. So right now you want to put ID four or whatever ID number you have. So I'm just going to put this to four. If you want people to be able to subscribe to uh, the advanced plan or pro plan, whatever plan that you want them to subscribe to, that is the ID number that you put there. So I'm going to put that to four. And then fix. And then I'm going to put it here at the very bottom where it ends. So you just have to put that code in there and then you just save. So when someone comes now on the front end to get access to that particular article, they're going to see partial content. They'll see this and then they'll have this here that in order for them to, you know, view the rest or they, you know, they would have to subscribe. So when you click here, is going to bring them here to this uh, the plant page so that they can be able to choose their plants. And that's really, you know, excellent and great to have when you want to, you know, kind of tease people if you have really great content. But in order for this to really work, your content will have to be really enticing because if the content is not enticing, then people wouldn't want to see the rest of it. But if it's something that's so enticing, then of course, they want to subscribe to get access to that content. Now I want to take a look at, you know, restricting the whole article. In order to do that, the first thing you have to do is you have to create a category. So I'm just going to create a category just for members only. So put in members only and then save and close. So now I have this art, this category here for members only. Next is to assign articles to this category. So you can choose the content that you want to put in that specific uh, category. So all the content that you put there, only the members are going to have access to that content. So I have some stuff here. I'm just going to put some of these over to it. 
And when you have, you know, a lot of content that you want to transfer over to a particular article, you know, normally with the old system, you would have to manually click each one and then transfer it over. But now we're going to use the batch system. So I'm just going to select here a few of these here. And then just click on batch. And then it's asking you what tags you want to add, keep access level. So what you want to do is you want to move it over. So you select, you want to put it over to the members only section. You don't really have to change any of these yet. And then you just click on process. So now if you notice here, members only, all of these, the ones that you checked have been moved over to the members only category. Next, we need to go to the plugin manager. And we need to find the article settings. There are two plugins that we need to enable. The first one is the article restriction settings. And then the next one here is the articles restriction. So you want to click on this. And you want to make sure that you select the category that you want to restrict and make sure that this is enable, save and close. The next one is the article restriction and the redirect URL, you want to set that to whatever page, the registration page. In this case, this is the page that I want them to, you know, to go to. And then make sure that's enable, save and close. Then you want to head over to the plants. So when you click on the plants, you notice now you have the article restriction settings that you just worked on and you click on this, this is going to allow you to restrict these contents. So you check, check these. So now every time that someone want, you know, wants to click on this, they won't be able to, um, to view any of these unless they're members. So you click save and close. So what I want to do is I want to test this out now. So this is the one that's restricted. When you come here, it gives you part, you know, partial article. So what I want to do is we've restricted these contents right now. Uh, the, you know, three, two, three, four, five. So let's test that out and see if everything is working. So from the article manager, this is the article that, you know, I opened up and you just have to, uh, select a section here. And once again, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So you click on article. This allows you to choose any article to link. So if you want to link one article to another, then you go that here. So I've opened this pop up here and I'm going to choose one of the content that I know has been restricted. And I'm doing this to make sure that everything is working properly. Also, you notice here is this category that the category is for members only. So let me click this getting started at five here and then save. So I'm on the front end now. We just added this link to getting started at five. So let's say someone come here and you know you you put this link, you have some really great content there, and you put this link and they want to access it, they're gonna be able to see it, but when they click on it, it's going to redirect them to subscribe in order for them to view that. So they're gonna be able to see things, but in order for them to um to be able to see what the content of that is, they have to, you know, become members first. As where the other one they can see partial content. But in order for them to read the rest, then they would have to like this one here. They have to first log in. But the other method is they're not even going to see the article. They can see the title, but they won't be able to access it at all. So let's take a look now at setting the URL. So you want to restrict certain you know pages on your site. So what I'm going to do here is I want to restrict the start here menu. Now you can use this for any of your menus if you don't want, you know, for the general public to be able to access it. So we're going to restrict this menu. So every time someone clicks on it, it, you know, takes them to the page where they have to subscribe right now, it brings them to this page. So to do that, we'd have to go over to the plugin manager and there are two plugins that must be enabled. The first one is the URL restriction setting. So you want to enable that. The other one is the URL restrictions. There are two of them sounds similar, but you know, this one, the settings, and then this one is just the URL restrictions. So you want to enable this. 
Next, you want to go over to the plan that you want you know to restrict uh, the URLs for. So right now I'm still working on the basic plan here. So I'm going to refresh this. And once you open the page here, you notice that this plan now has the URLs restriction settings here. So this is the URL that I want to restrict. So anyone that comes here, they're going to be redirected to, you know, subscribe. So let's save and let's refresh this page. So as you can see, the moment you, you know, you put that in there, it automatically redirects them here. So let's double check on that again. And it brings them back to the same page. So that really allows you to, you know, protect your content. You know, you can create a bunch of menus for people to see, but in order for them to access those menus, they would have to create, you know, a plan or subscribe to a plan as the message, you know, shows up here. So those are just the four different ways that you can use in order to protect your content. You know, each one provides, you know, different, you know, scenario. So you may want to kind of, you know, mix up some of those and, and just kind of, you know, play around with it.